Welcome to episode one of Info Dog. My name is Joel Lang from the Animal Channel here right now on Obedient Paws Dog Training. In today's video, before you get a dog, I recommend you to please watch this video. Because today's video will highlight 20 of the most aggressive dog breeds that we will be starting right now. Before you watch this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will never miss an episode and click the like. That is, if you are planning to get a new dog, please click the like button. So, in starting this video, let's go to our first page. What is the first most aggressive dog breed? Number one on today's list is the German Shepherd Dog. Now, most people have, a lot of people have German Shepherd Dogs, but if you notice, these kind, all these kind of dangerous dogs that we will uh, put up on today's list is mostly used as uh, police dogs, but, you know, German Shepherd Dogs are strong, but they are extremely intelligent, highly trainable, and athletic dogs. And because they have medium to large size, and it is like hard to go through a house with a German Shepherd dog, especially if they have two. But German Shepherd dogs are great if you are living, if you are like living in the middle of nowhere, like if you're living in the middle of the country, you must, you should consider a German Shepherd dog. But if you socialize these dogs same puppy class train them well at starting from starting with them at a young age like puppies they will be at least they will know how to, they will learn to be kinder they will at least they will learn how to be kind these kind of dogs anyways these kind of dogs have terribly strong bones that are strong enough to break bones their teeth is so so strong Wow. The next dog on our list today is the American Pitbull Terrier. Their average lifespan is from 12 to 14 years. Their average weight is 30 to 80 pounds. And their average height 17 through 90, 19 inches. That's the average height. Now, these kind of dogs, pit bulls, are more likely to attack you than any other kind of dog. So, but if you if you know, but probably you didn't know this, but pit bulls. When you hear the word pit bulls, this is not just a pit bulls. Um, actually, talking of seven different breed. I mean, several different breeds because pit bulls are mixed breed dogs. These dogs are muscular built. Unfortunately, they have been used for dog fighting. So. And this American Pit Bull Terrier, well, also they are from the Pit Bull family. So their Pit Bulls are not a good choice for family dogs. If you want a family dog that is highly trainable, like a German Shepherd dog, and that if you if you have sheep, you want them to guard sheep. Or if you want, you know. A dog that you can play with why not choose like a border collie or a german shepherd dog or but you know that's if you have time to clean up the hairs that they shed so now but it is rare pit bulls first you must know the differences between a pit bull and an american pit bull terrier most mostly we we see american pit bull terriers because pit bulls are rare because they are very dangerous they are giant sized but it is rare for an american pit bull terrier it is the word american pit bull not just the regular pit bull the american pit bull terrier it is rare for them to show aggression Number three on today's list is the Siberian Husky. Probably you you guys have a Siberian Husky too. These dogs, your average lifespan is the same as pit bull, about 12, 14 years. The average weight is 35 to 50 pounds for the female, 45 to 60 pounds for the male. The average height is 20 to 22 inches for the females and 21 to 23 inches for the males. 
Generally speaking, Siberian Huskies exhibit aggressive behavior as a result of poor training. So, if you want a, if you are a first-time dog owner or trainer or whatever you call yourself, do not, uh, do not try and and if you do not have time to dedicate to a Siberian Husky training and care. Uh, we recommend you not to get a Siberian Husky, but instead to get a different breed that is not on today's list. And before running off to find a dog that is not for the tree, we wait for to listen to more of these breeds because then you will have a, a small selection. Because if if you pick a Doberman or a Dachshund, you are still in trouble. Oh man, I shouldn't have said that. I wanted you to guess what's on today's list. Number four on today's list is the Doberman Pinscher, also called the Dolby. These dogs between 10 to 13 years average weight is 60 to 90 pounds, or for the males, 75 to 100 pounds. Average height is 24 to 28 inches. If you have heard of a Doberman Pinscher, then you know what kind of dogs these are. These dogs were originally bred as guard dogs and have been subsequently used as working for police and military personnel. As, as such, they have a reputation for aggression that isn't entirely undeserved. But these dogs, they are aggressive to people not because they have, they just want to be aggressive. Like, okay, this person is a stranger, I just want to be aggressive because I just like to be aggressive. Why? This is because of they having a fear and they want to protect their owners. But Dobermans are highly intelligent and trainable dogs. So, but if you are, if you train these Doberman properly and kindly, then they will be very friendly dogs. But if you just keep beating them all day, of course, they're not going to be a friendly dog. So it is important to socialize your Doberman early on in order to teach them how to behave around new people. Socialize if you are having a puppy a Doberman pinster. It's great. It's a great chance for you to socialize them right this minute because you take them to public, you let them meet with lots of people. Just also watch for anxiety, like yawning and stuff, you know. But you just gotta let them meet people to when they are puppies. Don't start doing that when they are an adult, because when they are an adult, it's hard to train dogs when they are adult because they are like, "What are you doing with me?" I. I was trained when I was a puppy, and that's how I'm going to do it. So these governments are not a dog that you want to consider if you don't have time to train them, socialize them when they are still puppies. Not, do not wait until they are grown big. Oh, this is Doberman. I forgot to move the slide. Sorry. Um, This is a Doberman. If you don't have time to train them, then you should consider as I said earlier, another different breed that's not on today's list because the breeds that are on today's list are dangerous breeds. Probably in tomorrow or next time, we'll do a, a video on kind dogs. Could we? <laughs> if you want to see that video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. All right, next on today's list, number five, is the Dechant. How many of you have heard of the dog called Dechant? Well probably have heard of them. These dogs live 12 to 16 years. Hold on a second. I want to make a little side note here. If you notice, big dogs live shorter than small dogs. Okay? All right. So their lifespan is 12 to 16 years. Average weight is 16, 32 pounds, and their average height is 8 to 9 inches. They are kind of tiny, but hey, wait for me. Dachshunds might be maybe small, but their bark is mighty. You want to hear one? Okay, I'll give you one. So that is the barking of a dead shun. If you don't want this to sleep at night then you could get a dead on but if you want to sleep at night uh you could consider a different breed that it is more quiet huh. all right num the next number on today's list is number six it's the rottweiler their lifespan is nine to ten years and their average weight is 
80 to 135 pounds. Average height is 22 to 27 inches. The picture is a Rottweiler. Uh, the picture that you're looking at is a Rottweiler. Probably this is an Osirati or Australian Shepherd and a Rottweiler mix, but. So it is no surprise that a Rottweiler could make this list because these dogs are like pit bulls and they have a known reputation for being aggressive. They are just hair short dogs and they tend to have the most problems with other dogs. But if you but if you train them properly and if you live in a home and they are the only pet, they probably will do well. Give them tons of training, give them proper and proper socialization. A lot of uh, pro problems about barking and all these, and if you know, all these problems is because you do not train them well and you do not socialize them well. Next, later on in this channel, we will teach you how to train your dogs to stop barking. Well, wait for that one. The next on today's list is the Jack Russell Terrier. Their lifespan is 13 and 15 years, average weight 13 to 17 pounds, and their average height is 12 to 15 inches. Oh, notice this 15 and 15 and 17. <laughs> so these Jack Russell Terriers, they were bred for fox hunting, and they are kind of active despite their size. They are small, but real active. So, if you want to demolish their aggressive behavior i mean prevent you cannot totally demolish it <laughs> the easiest way to do that is establish boundaries tell them you cannot do this and you cannot do that of course you know so next on today's list is number eight will be the akida their lifespan is 10 to 13 years, average weight 70 to 130 pounds, average height is 24 to 28 inches. The Akira, this Akira breed was originated in rural Japan and they were hunting dogs. Most dogs that you will see in today's list are either hunting dogs or barky dogs and aggressive ones. These dogs, they have actually wet toes so that they can walk on ice, snow, because they need to walk on ice and snow because these dogs are trained, uh, were bred for like, they, these dogs are, were bred for ice and snow, Japan, you know Japan. This trait combined with a high prey drive can make them a difficult breed for first time dog owners. So these kind of dogs is going to give you a lot of headaches when you go to bed if you are a first time owner. But if you are an experienced dog owner, dog trainer, you it is easier for you to train at least because you, you know how to just control them, you know, because it works with tons of dogs. Number nine on today's list, it will be shocking. I won't tell you it before you subscribe and hit the bell notification. This is, up to here is the free limit. No, it's the, uh, it's the end for people who are not subscribing. If you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Click the like too. All right, everybody, thanks for subscribing. Now we can proceed on to the video. Next on today's list is the Chihuahua. Wow. These dogs' lifespan is 14 to 16 years, average weight 6 pounds, and their average height is 5 to 8 inches. One of the smallest dogs on this list, the Chihuahua, may seem like a strange choice. After all, they are smaller than most cats and are incapable of inflicting much harm. These kind of dogs are aggressive, and they want to take and they want to wear the pants at your house. But you must teach them who is the boss, because these dogs. Always want to wear your pants. You are the one wearing pants, but these dogs wants to wear your pants. 
Well, I'm not talking about the pants that you are wearing right now to watch this video. If you're not wearing pants, well, go and get some. <laughs> These kind of dogs, they just want to be your be the boss of your home, but and these dogs are prone to aggressive behavior. This, but these chihuahuas are you know, like harmless, but they need to know who is the boss. They must you must train them properly, telling them, okay, I am the boss. You are the dog. I tell you what you can do and what you can't do. It should be like that. Not the dog tells you, okay, I am the boss. You have to feed me at 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. If not, I will use I will use your bed as my bathroom. Boy, you cannot make your dog do that. You are the boss of the of these dogs. Number 10, on today's list is the Chow Chow. Lifespan is 8 to 12 years, average weight 45 to 70 pounds, and their average height 17 to 20 inches. These kind of dogs, it's not a relatively small breed to make on this list. But these dogs look like teddy bears and all these, you know? But actually, 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 these dogs are not like a teddy bear because they are like fluffy dogs with a teddy bear like appearance, but they have a mean streak. These dogs are aggressive to strangers and they are also aggressive to other dogs. If you are planning to adopt a child child, you need to make sure you have the time to give this dog the training and attention he it needs. And next on today's list is number 11. It is called the Dalmatian. These dogs lifespan 11 and 13 years. Average weight is 45 to 70 pounds and the average height is 19 to 24 pounds. These kind of dogs are fire dogs, okay, and they are guard dogs. Mostly these, most of the uh, guard dogs, they are mostly like aggressive because they have always done, this is a stranger, I bark. This is a stranger, I bark. This is a stranger. You know, these kind of dogs, but these dogs are famous for being their role in the Disney film, one-on-one demolitions. These dogs have a reputation for being wholesome family dogs. Wait a second. These dogs are wholesome family dogs, but that is if you give them proper training. Proper training is the highlight to great dogs. If you want good dogs, you need to give them proper training. If not, they will be. What do you use the word for dead dogs? Crazy dogs. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Number 12 on today's list is the Wrinkle Food Face Sharpay. Their lifespan is 8 to 12 years. Average weight is 45 to 60 pounds. And their average height is 18 to 20 inches. The Sharpay's ancestry can be traced all the way back to the Chinese Han Dynasty some 2,000 years ago. And these dogs have a long, long history of guard dogs hunters and pit fighters but despite their history they are generally great companions but they can also be stubborn and if if you have children in your home and you want to adopt an, an, an adult sharpay you shouldn't do that if, if your children is young, but you if they are puppies, like just born, then you can because you if you if they are raised with children in the home, then they will know. Okay, this is my master's children. I'm not supposed to harm them or not. They will send me away. You know, come come. I mean, don't send your dogs away, but they they must learn to know that these are the children and don't harm them. These are not strangers. These are family. And number 13 on today's list is the King Corso. Their lifespan 9 to 12 years. Average weight is 90 to 120 pounds. And their average height is 24 to 28 inches. These King Corsos are brave. 
this is uh uh these dogs are ancient Roman dogs. They were originated in Italy, descended from an ancient Roman dog called the Candy Spugnus. These dogs were bred to be brave and powerful and were used as Roman war dogs. So but these dogs They they can sometimes prevent present issues with aggression. Although headstrong, King Corsos will respond to consistent training. If you are a firm and confident dog trainer, your King Corso will likely respond. Will likely respect you. If you were saying, "Okay, when I ask you to lie down, you lie down. When I tell you you stay here, it means you stay here." When I ask you to leave this thing alone, you leave it. If I ask you, if I ask you to, uh, if I ask you to do this, you do that. You must do this. Don't do that. If I train you, you shouldn't use the bathroom in my house. There are some pee pads over there. You go there or you go outside. You must train them like that. Number fourteen on today's list is the Dogo Argentino. That one black spot on the eye. These dogs, they live nine to fifteen years. Their average weight is eighty-eight to one hundred pounds. Their average height is twenty-four to twenty-seven inches. These dogs, as their name suggests, where are they from? Dogo Argentinos were originally bred in Argentina, where they hunted. Large animals such as puma and boar. You know what the puma? It's a dangerous animal.、Uh, I think it's a kind of wild cat. Um, in the cougar family. Check a picture of that. These are like. Deer, mountain lions, cougar. This is. If you if you saw a mountain lion before, these and these dogo argentinos can easily take them down. These are strong, strong dogs. They are well known for aggressive tendencies and are in fact banned in the UK for this reason. If you are watching this reason, I'm. <laughs> If you're watching this video in UK, you know it. These dogs, the Dogo Argentinos, are banned there. I am filming for the United States. If you have children, other pets, or live in an urban area, they may not be the best dogs for you. Choose another dog, and I recommend you get a book. It is all. Where is it? I have it somewhere here. Yep, here we go. It is called the Everything Dog Book. Uh, I could put the link in the description below. Subtitle, top subtitles: Choosing, caring for, and living with your new best friend. So complete. You take a dog, wrote it. Uh, inside they will tell you which, uh, which dogs are good for which for living here, living there. This 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 book, uh, I I I recommend you to read this. And num and also, if you want to give your dog a great Christmas pre present, oh, let me just whisper this because I want you to give it not Santa Claus. Get them a bright box. A bright box is a great idea. That is if you haven't tried it yet. It's B A R K B O X. Okay, I did it in a whisper so that Santa Claus doesn't hear it. <laughs> All right, number fifteen is the Boxer. Lifespan is ten to twelve years. Average weight is fifty to eighty pounds, and their average height twenty two to twenty five inches. These dogs, boxers, they need a lot of exercise. They must, uh, you. They must need a lot of exercise. It is, it is better to give them more exercise than less exercise, because if you don't, they, 
they will become bored, frustrated, which can lead to aggressive behavior. And these dogs have a strong bite that can lead to serious injury, but if they are properly trained and exercised, boxers can be a fantastic family dog. Wow. Are you thinking of a boxer yet? Okay. Next, number 16 on today's list is the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Uh -huh. These dogs' life spans about 10 years, average weight 70 to 85 pounds, average height is 24 to 27 inches. The Rhodesian Ridgeback breed originated in Africa. And these dogs are very powerful because these dogs protect livestock from lions. Mm -hmm. These dogs have strong prey drive, and they, and their hunting instincts may kick in when they encounter small animals and unfamiliar dogs. But they can be very affectionate toward their family, and even often get along with other household dogs. But be a great trainer if you want to get these dogs because these dogs are strong and you must be like like a good dog trainer in order to get these kind of dogs next to today's list is the cute pomeranian huh the, their lifespan is 12 to 16 years, average weight is 3 to 7 pounds, and average height is 6 to 7 inches. Pomeranians, it's a small breed that bark a lot. <laughs> the reason why they bark a lot is because they are scared of large animals and people, and if that happens, they can become aggressive and if you find that your dog is aggressive to any anybody in your family visitors whoever you may need to establish your dog's place in the pack these dogs always get confused on who on which part he plays in the pack order and if he recognizes you as the leader, he won't have any reason to be aggressive. If you want a Pomeranian, you must be the leader of their pack. Not, in, not just letting them do whatever they want. You must be in charge of them. Number 18 on today's list is the St. Bernard Dog. These dogs were rescue dogs in the Swiss Alps. At least a few hundred years ago, their life spans eight to ten years, average weight 120 to 180 pounds, average height 26 to 30 inches. These kind of dogs is a working dog that originates in the Swiss Alps in Switzerland. For hundreds of years, they have been used as rescue dogs with avalanches, and they do well when they have a purpose. Mostly, male St. Bernard's can be stubborn and test your authority. You must actually properly train these so that they will respect you. They will, most St. Bernard's will say, I am the leader of the pack and you respect me. Uh-uh. You must be the leader of your pack. Number 19 in today's list is the Bull Mastiff. Lifespan 79 years, average weight 100 to 130 pounds, and average height 24 to 27 inches. These kind of dogs, these kind of dogs, you know, have a guarding instinct that they can cause unwanted behavior if they are not properly trained and socialized. Like, if you do not properly train them not to sleep on your bed, they will think that their bed, that your bed is their bed, and they can do whatever they want to do with your bed, because they think it's their bed. 
Man, that makes my brain hurt. This kind of dogs are relatively easy to socialize if you take them out on walks often to meet different kinds of people and different kinds of dogs. They will likely grow up to be friendly and laid back animals. Even though the way how they look, they look like an angry person. Well, you know, they are actually could be nice. Next on today's list, and the last, is the wolf dog hybrid. Depending on the hybrid, the average lifespan of a wolf in captivity is 12 to 14 years, average weight 75 to 155 pounds, and average height 26 to 34 inches. These kind of dogs are dangerous dogs because if they are, they are mixed with a wolf. And also, these kind of dogs, they have a tendency to challenge the alpha member of the pack, which could present problems in domestic household setting where you are the pack leader. These dogs are always aggressive, and you don't know whether or not this aggressive behavior will appear when the dog matures. Wow. A wolf dog hybrid shouldn't be on your list to get a dog. Wow. All right, anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, click the like button. If you want to see later episodes, maybe.